Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Electro Study. This is lecture series 4 under computer network playlist dealing with network topology, tree and ring. Let us go into the video. So, first let us see about what is tree topology. This is the formation of tree topology. Tree topology is a network where each and every nodes are connected to other node such that it is forming an hierarchy. So based on this structure, it is otherwise called as hierarchy topology. You can otherwise tell that it also represents a star topology. That is, several star topology connected together to form this tree topology. That is, every node is connected to one to one forming an hierarchy, which resembles a structure of a tree. So now, how a tree topology works? If the server wants to establish a connection, say this is the server, it is finding to establish a connection between different hubs. Now this hub here, I have taken it as a switch. So now the server is acting to establish a connection between these switches. So first what happens is, the data from the server is encapsulated. So after the encapsulated data, where this data is getting into, what happens? So this data, encapsulated data from the server is sent to the backbone cable. So this backbone cable, what it does is, it starts establishing the connection between different switches and passes on the encapsulated data to the different hubs. So now, one data, say suppose from here server, one data is passing to the switch S1. Now here, the data is not directly passed to different nodes under this hub. What happens here is, before entering this hub only, there is a check. The hub checks for the address of the receiving data. If it matches, then it will contribute the data to the nodes connected under this hub. If it doesn't matches, it reroutes the data to the backbone and it again travels to the ne next switch. Again, the check happens here. If it is the check is matching, the data is transferred to the nodes or else it is again routed to the next switch and it keeps on doing it. Now here, under tree topology, it is divided into three types. One is bus tree topology, second one is cluster tree topology, third one is spanning tree topology. Now with this diagram, I will explain you the three types of the tree topology. So first the topology, what we saw is bus tree topology. So here, this main cable is acting as the backbone cable. Different devices are connected from the main cable as a different hubs. So, this bus tree topology communicates with the main hub for the transfer of data. Now, next type is cluster tree topology. In cluster tree topology, there is a connection called as parent-child connection. So here parent connection is nothing but the main hub is called as the parent connection. Child connection is different clusters of nodes connected to the hubs. So here you will be seeing how this main cable that is the backbone cable is communicating with the parent connection and the parent connection, how the parent connection is feeding its child with data. This is called as cluster tree topology. Next, spanning tree topology. Here, 
all these clusters are available in an entire network and it is connected completely to the main cable through a hub or it may be an intelligent hub it may be an active hub it may be a passive hub whatever it is this complete cluster is said to be connected to the main cable in the spanning tree topology next we will be seeing about ring topology so now we saw how tree topology is designed you have seen that tree topology represent a geometrical representation of a tree structure so the same thing is occurring here ring topology it forms a geometrical representation of a ring so in this topology the devices are connected in the ring structure so that the data is or passed on to the each and every nodes through a ring structure so it either follows clockwise direction or anti clockwise direction it is it is said to be unidirectional why is if suppose i am sending a node from this hub or this node to the this node you can either transfer the data from here to here directly or if it is taking a path like this it cannot reverse back the data so the flow of message will be in clockwise direction the data is from this node is transferred to this node then to this node and finally reaches to the destination so here it does not need any central hub there is no central hub connected to different nodes each and every nodes acts as a central hub so even if one node fails to send the data complete network fails because if this node doesn't work and the destination node is this and the flow of the message is in this path if this node fails obviously the data does not pass through the node it stops here so complete a network will set is said to be a failure so this ring topology can be used mainly in lans and vans where installing and troubleshooting this topology if any occur uh, error occurs it is easy to troubleshoot or install the ring topology so now we have to see how ring topology is formed it follows one to one procedure that is data from one node reaches the other node and same content keeps on continuing till it reaches the target node it goes to this node this node this node this node it keeps on traveling until it reaches the destination node so here this ring topology is divided into two types one is unidirectional and bidirectional so in unidirectional what happens is the data is or transferred in one way that is as i already told either in clockwise or anti clockwise once it takes a clockwise path it cannot give back uh, to anti clockwise path it has to start rotating only in clockwise direction until it reaches the particular destination node in bidirectional ring topology what happens is two or more links are connected between the nodes if suppose to connect this node to this node it has either it should either follow this or this or what it will do is it will connect one more link from this node to this node so that it it doesn't waste time in passing the data through here it directly passes the data here this is transferred here so n number of links will be connected between nodes to alternate the path of the datas so here your bidirectional uh, ring topology can also be called as dual ring topologies next we will be seeing about the application of tree and the ring topology so these are the application of tree topology so generally tree topology doesn't have common application that is used it depends upon the user if user needs a, a structure that is designed in a tree design in a path of a tree then the user uses tree topology to design the network 
so small example that i can give you is it is established in multi story building that is there will be a main node connected like this and let it be in the top floor next floor there are two central hubs connected which is giving another two central hubs in the lower floor and keeps on connecting which is forming an hierarchical which is formed in an hierarchical way so yeah, this tree topology can exist wherever lands are mainly used so these are the application that i have given for tree topology so when considering the application for ring topology mainly it is used in telecommunication industries that is if you are using cell phones so if you want to connect this node this user end to this user end you can directly connect if the line is free if it is not free it keeps on connecting the dialing tone will be keep on connecting and once it reaches the node it connects so it is used in telecommunication industries and that it is used as a backup system that is if one node fails this data sent from this node is not erased it is keeping up the backup of the data is available such that after rectifying this node it again can send the data to reach a destination node and it can be used in educational institution because the installation procedure used for the ring topology is of low cost so educational institution can use such kind of topology so that with low cost they can give high performance because it is a small network that you are following uh, educational topology if you consider one college it is around only small acres it is connected so ring topology will give you a good performance next is the pros and cons faced when you are using a tree topology what are all the pros that i can give you for tree topology it is it is completely flexible that is once it is communicated to one node it will obviously communicate communicate to the other nodes and expansion of nodes in that hierarchy will be very very easy and it is a easy procedure where the if if there any error occurs it can be easily detected because for each and central hub n number of clusters are connected so if one cluster fails we know that the this is the hub which is wrong so you can easily detect the error and cons that we face in tree topology is it is actually dependent on the main bus if the main bus is a failure then complete network becomes a failure and maintenance is also a challenging part because you if you want to maintain the complete network you have to keep on checking each and every cluster that is connected to the central hub and scalability depends upon the cable how we are connecting whether it is wired or wireless all those depends upon the cable we are connecting and there are some security issues because once the main hub communicates it is sent to the all other hubs there is no privacy in this tree topology so what is the pros and cons of the ring topology so advantages is that there is no collision between the datas it will keep on rotating until it reaches the destination node there is no collision of datas so it can send data at higher speed whatever speed the source node decides that speed can be maintained until it reaches the final destination and it has good performance even though the network has a the network is busy the traffic in the network is busy it gives a good performance and the cons disadvantages of ring topology is when compared to star topology or mesh topology it is bit slower it is considered to be bit slower because it passes through different nodes to reach the destination and if no one node fails the entire network is said to be a failure so that is a big disadvantages we are facing in the ring topology and also to setting up the ring topology the cost is little bit higher it is expensive so security issues become a big issue in the big negative impact it creates when you are designing a ring topology so hope you are i believe that you have understood the concept of ring and 
tree topology. Stay tuned for the further videos. Please like, subscribe, share and comment. Keep supporting us. Thank you.